Hello everyone, welcome to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you like what we do on this channel, hit on the subscribe button. Also put on the notification bell so you'll be notified by YouTube anytime we drop a new video. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch our videos. On this platform, we drop videos every day and we react to every video that come our way. And on this very video, I will be watching with you. And after watching, let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion constructively. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. See you next time in my next video. I speak for the opposition, CUPP. Like I said before, I was very clear that there was no basis for this trial, if not because of the political stubbornness of President Mohamed Buhari. We will not be going up and down under the sun to come and observe uh, this trial. And why do I say that? The issues that led to this uh, agitation was injustice. The issues that led to this trial was just injustice. The issue that is even messing the trial up is injustice. You see, all these gara gara up and down and show of force with uh, people covering their face with masks is unnecessary. Why do I say that? There, an issue you know, came up, what the president could have done as the leader and president of the country was to call everybody to the table and then you negotiate and find an amicable solution to solve those issues. And why do I keep saying this? If you remember, when the issue of Niger Delta came up, there was a round table. When the issue of uh, the, even the Boko Haram guys who decided to repent and so on and so forth, there was also discussion. So if you can have discussion on pure terrorist act, what about uh, civil agitations of this nature? So if not the, the fact that I feel the president have so much hate that is driving the way with which he's prosecuting these issues, what the president would have done is very simple. Call Igbo leaders together, call Igbo youth together, and then go to a table and say, how do we find solutions to the issues of restructuring, the issues of equity, the issues of justice, the issue of fairness? This thing is very simple. So, and then that's why I said, it's not about the Nandi Kanu. No, this issue is bigger. And that is why everybody should stand on this particular issue and say the president, this trial is unnecessary, like I said before. What you need to do is to discontinue trial under the provisions of the, of the 1999 Council. The Attorney General have powers to discontinue the trial, and this thing ends in a matter of seconds. And the High Court, you know, might have delivered judgment advising. You see, when, a, when the judiciary, you know, goes, you know, to that extent of telling the president, adopt political solution in resolving this issue. This is a, these, are, these are, you know, ways of uh, wisdom. What I want the president to do is that adopt, even try, just try. Let it be that you called Igbo leaders to the round table and they did not come. Let it be that you called them to a round table, both our governors, our representatives, our, our, our leaders, our religious leaders, for us to find solution to this issue. Let it be that they, they came and then they did not implement what was this. It's a different thing. But the president, who is supposed to be commander-in-chief of the armed forces and leader of all, have refused to address these agitations, which are civil in nature. Before the issue of uh, insecurity came out of uh, these whole issues, these issues were civil agitations, which the president could have called everybody to a round table and then address it, and this will end. So I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that Justice uh, uh, Bint, Bintala, uh, Binta uh, Nyako will have the needed judicial courage in national interest to discontinue this trial and order them to go back to the negotiation table to find political solutions to these issues. And, and let me say this. You see, it's very painful in a trial that you're supposed to do diligently in accordance with the rules of natural justice and access to, to equipment for the person to fairly defend himself. Now, you cannot allow none they can get access to his reading glass. Is it not, is it, doesn't it sound laughable? Whether it's DSS that is doing it or police or president, it does, it, does it not sound laughable? Ordinary reading glass, you can't give him to read. And you want people to believe in what will come out of this trial? Now, and again, we talk about the issue of changing of clothes. What is there in changing clothes? For me now, I like to wear my traditional attire. He wants to wear his traditional attire to come to court. And you're forcing him to be wearing Fendi since the last almost getting to six months now. Every day, you, whether they wash it or not, you put it on him and bring it to the court. What impression are you trying to, 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 to create? Are you saying he still comes with the, to court with the same clothes? It's the same clothes. Have you not been watching the proceedings in court? So they really allow him to change clothes. You don't allow him to get access to, to the, what the, what the, the, the prayer stuff for the Jews. The, 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 the Jewish materials for praying. 
If you cannot give him basic things like praying materials, like access to his eye, uh, uh, eye glass for him to read, and you cannot allow him to read court process, you cannot even allow people to freely assess the court, you cannot allow people to observe the trial, and you think that Nigerians will believe in whatever will come out of this uh, uh, trial. And that's why I keep saying, why not just take him to Dawra and set up a private court and then try him so we know what you're doing. You can't call this a federal high court and you're doing all these things that are considered childish. Why, why are you allow him to the court? No, to as usual. Maybe because they, they, they don't like this my uh, this on my head. But they, but I will keep coming every day until the day they will allow me to enter. The coming of him is taking time and the security are now allowing vehicular movements to pass so that uh, the road will not be totally congested uh, for him by the time he wants to pass. All as just to make sure that nobody hijacks him from uh, the hand of security operatives. Hello, hello, sorry, sorry. sorry sir. Don't worry. On our own children go die like all those children where they don't keep. Keep just keep calm. You go reach on he go by. I got for you, do he go by? He go by now. He go by. I got for you, do. Oh, Ndara. Come down, down. What is you doing in this? Oh no, Kura Kadisi. Kuku na Kadisi na. Sinya Dukweni. Umi Beri. Oh, Kura Kadisi. Oh. Jenu Kuku Tia Kadisi. Jenu Kuku Tia Kadisi. Ndara. Foolish people. You are home live to GTV Africa, live from Abuja. Uh, earlier, I told you that there's a movement, and the movement is still on. At this moment, there seems to be uh, movements among the security operatives, which indicates that uh, Lambe Kano is about to come out uh, from other side. I can see from other side the supporters of pro pro government supporters coming from coming from. The train, even the train that enter, the train is not working. You even attack the train, Isha. Okay. You even attack the train. The train broke down. The train broke down. Nothing is working in this country. What has that got to do with the feelings that are going on in the border? I'm asking you. Yeah, you are on live to GTV Africa. Uh, I need to move away from them because it seems they have a, another motive that is not the same thing with what is going on. Um, that's why I have to move away. There seems to be, there may be confrontations between them, but uh, we are not the same. We are journalists. Uh, we are not part of protesters. At this point, I need to let you know that there is another group dressing in green, white, green, coming from the extreme end uh, of the road. Well, I want to believe that there will not be uh, a commotion or attack on themselves as it is, but at this point, we have two groups, two groups, supporters of Nambi Kano and the supporters of government that are on the street right now. But the security operatives are still doing their job to make sure that uh, the peace reigns at this place and everyone uh, is ready to do what is right. And I believe that the rightful thing will be done. In a short while, the, the locations, the movements around here indicates that any moment from now, Nambi Kanu is going to be taken out of the court and the road as the security operatives that are outside are just taking control of the outer, outer side so that the outer layer will not be congested by the time uh, the security are moving him uh, because they are trying to avoid being uh, the canoe being hijacked by its unexpected uh, friends or fellow or the crowd that are around or his followership. And you can see his followership are still standing 
they are still standing, keeping faith, waiting for his movement. Also, the security operatives are also waiting, watching the movement. And in a short while, in a short while, Nambi Kanu is going to move out. As I said, you can see the movement outside. Every second is changing. And in a short while, Nambi is going to be out. And the security operatives are so at a lot. They are so at a lot to be able to make sure that everything is intact. Everything is intact. The security operatives are making sure that everything is intact and they are working tirelessly to make sure that everyone complies with the rules and instruction given. We are on live to GTV Africa, live from Abuja, and we are bringing to you exactly what is going on, what is happening. The operatives are functioning and making sure that uh, everything is intact. Any moment from now, any moment from now, Nambi Kano is expected to be driven out of the court's premises. We are on live to GTV Africa, live from Abuja. Small pepper spray, but to release them there. Use your nose guy. You are home live to GTV Africa. As I said, if you can add me on the ground, it seems there is a pepper spray uh, on. Everyone is having a little call. And uh, uh, let me show you from this axis, you can see those passerby. The passerby too are unable to move everywhere stand still because any moment from now is likely to be driven out from the court's premises. The environment is totally locked down. The whole environment is totally locked down and in the short while the movement is likely to be uh let me show you from this axis what is going on you can see the the area view of the security operatives the way they're taking control of the environment and everyone is expecting the movement of unam de kalu to be held from the court's premises